add even more possibilities to Traction 7 by building a great library of third-party effects and instruments for free. Welcome back to another simple green tech video. Today we're looking at building a VST instrument and effect library in the free DAW Traction 7. I've done a couple of other videos on Traction 7. If you're interested in those, I will link them below. But let's hop into Traction and get started. First, let's download some decent plugins to install. I personally use PluginBoutique.com as they have a great selection of high quality free VST effects and instruments. They also have some amazing deals from time to time on premium plugins. I will link to Plugin Boutique below so you can check them out and get some free plugins for yourself. You have to create a free account, but you're not required to buy anything or add a credit card. Just add the free plugins to your cart, check out, and then they're available under your account in the free plugin section, along with instructions to download and install. I suggest picking up a compressor or two. The compressor that comes with traction is decent, but it's fairly basic. And it's nice to add some variety to your effects library. I really like the M compressor from Melda Productions. Plus, when you add it to your account, you have to download the installer. And that installer also lets you choose some other free effects from Melda Productions. Once you have some VSTs downloaded, you'll need to unzip them and install. Make sure you install your VSTs into the proper folder. Some will install to program file slash Steinberg slash VST plugins by default. Others will install to program file slash VST plugins. I recommend installing them into just one of those two folders. So if you choose program file slash VST plugins as your main folder, you'll have to change the install location on some of the VSTs and have them aim to that folder instead of the Steinberg one. It's okay if you forget to do that as you can just cut and paste the DLL files from one folder to another without reinstalling. You should also know that if you download 32-bit plugins, they will install into the program files x86 slash VST plugins folder. So you'll have to check there and you can keep them there. Just when we get into traction and we're adding the plugins into traction, you'll have to remember that. If you're going to be installing a lot of effects and instruments, you may want to create some subfolders to organize them like this. You can put all of your instruments into a folder, all your compressors in another, your EQs, and so on. Now that we have some third-party VSTs installed on our system, let's go into Traction and make it so it can see those plugins. To do this, you go to Settings, Plugins, and from here you click on the Scanning and Sorting button. Then you want to scan for new or updated VST plugins. You will then see a window that says Select Folders to Scan. If you don't see your folder in there, click on the plus sign in the bottom left corner and then you can select the folder that you want Traction to search from in there. You only need to select the main folder, so if you created some of those subfolders for instruments and effects, Traction will actually find those plugins without having to select each of those subfolders. So you click OK. Now click Scan, give it a second, and you should see all of your plugins that you just installed. If one or more are missing, they could be in the 32-bit plugin folder, so you might have to add that folder in Traction so it searches there. Or it could be in that Steinberg folder. Some of the plugins install there by default. You may have forgot to switch it. If you just go into your computer, search for that Steinberg folder, and if you see any DLL files in there, just copy and paste them into the VST plugins folder. And once you do that, you can click scan again and it should find those plugins that were missing. Anytime you install a new plugin, you'll have to go in here and tell Traction to scan the folder again and it will discover the new plugin that you installed. Now let's load one of our effect plugins onto a track. If you don't have a project started yet, click the plus sign here and create a new one. Once you're in the project, go over to the right side in the mixer area of the track that you'd like to add the effect to right click and select add new plugin you will now see some folders that you can choose from the traction plugins folder has all of the default t7 plugins plugin racks is another default feature that t7 offers it allows you to do some advanced routing and the other folders are the ones that you told traction to search for once you go into the vst plugins folder you'll see all of your plugins or your subfolders if you decided to create them 
go ahead and click on an effect. And let's add another one. You can click and drag the effects around to choose what order you'd like them to go in. And that's it. You can click on the effect and it will bring up the graphical interface. Now you can adjust the settings or select some presets. Some plugins may not have graphic interfaces and they will use Traction's built-in interface, which is located down here. Most third-party plugins though, they're gonna have their own interface. The Traction 7 plugins that came with Traction, their interface is down there. Now that we've done effects, Let's look at adding some virtual instruments. You do this the same way you add an effect. Right click in the mixer area of the track that you'd like to add the instrument to, add new plugin, choose the instrument that you want to load, and that's it. If you have a MIDI controller connected, you may be able to start controlling it right away, or you may have to set up your controller in the MIDI area and then choose the MIDI track that you want. And if you want to record it, you can arm the track for recording, and then click the record button and it will record your arrangement. Now, if you prefer to work inside the box and maybe you don't have access to a MIDI controller yet, you can use the piano roll to draw in your pattern. You can right click on the track and select insert MIDI clip or just click the track and press the G key on your computer keyboard. That's gonna bring up an empty piano roll that you can start drawing notes into. You're going to see a little piano to the left and it lines the notes up with the grid. So if you want a C note, you can see that this is a C note right here and you could draw it in on that line. You can make the pattern longer by dragging the hollow arrow as far as you need it to go or you can make it smaller by doing the same thing. If this is going to be a repeating pattern, you can just copy and paste it over and over as needed. You can also add effects to your instrument. Just right click in the mixer area and add a new plugin like you did before. Make sure it comes in after the instrument in the chain. If it comes before the instrument when you add it, click and drag it to the other side. And that's it. We looked at downloading and installing third party plugins, getting traction to find those plugins, and then loading effects and instruments onto tracks. So now I want to know, have you found some great free plugins out there that you use on your tracks? If you have, please let me know what they are in the comments below. If you'd like to have a say in future videos from us, or maybe you have a question that you'd like to ask directly, please subscribe to our Patreon page. This will really help us to continue to make great videos for you. Also, you'll be able to take part in polls that are going to guide the future videos that we release. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane, and we'll talk soon.